In those days, um, every Saturday morning, the local cinema would have movies for kids. Yeah. And every child... Did you get I... two and sixpence to spend on the, on the sweeties as well? No, I, I, I couldn't go. Oh! I wasn't allowed to go to the movies. So not even not the movies either? No. No. And, and that's when I went to the public library. I joined the public library when I was seven. Yeah. And uh, I've been a voracious reader all my life. And, of course, at the time, I was outraged that... I got second class, as it were. I had to go to the library. They were all going to the pictures. And now, of course, I realise it's probably quite <laughs> yeah, good yeah. for me. <laughs> Didn't turn out too bad. That's exactly <laughs> right. But you, you also went via my trade and, and, and were, were a good journalist for a wee while. But, but I get the sense that you got bored with it rather than it getting bored with you. Um, you know, I, it, I realised that I didn't love newspapers yeah. and I did love books, especially novels. Um, but the truth is, Alistair, I wasn't that great a newspaper reporter. I wasn't terrible, but um, I've always been ambitious. And it became clear to me, you know, I've, all of us as young reporters, what we wanted to be in the end was editor of the Sunday Times. Mm. That was, in those days, that was nirvana for young reporters. And it became clear to me that I was not good enough. And it also became clear to me that I didn't love papers enough. And... Uh, and I started writing, trying to write fiction. 